Man, when it rains, it pours if your name's Shakari Richardson. Folks, people are ridiculing this girl nonstop, day and night. They've been ridiculing this girl since she tested positive for marijuana and they realized that she wasn't going to be in the Olympics. This girl has been getting ridiculed probably for the last, what, 60, no, 45 days. Ridiculed. Come to her social media, she ridiculed. She out in public. You know, people got something to say to her. This girl been getting ridiculed for a long time. And it's like, okay, when do you put your foot down and when do you say enough is enough? I mean, you know, she tested positive for marijuana. And just like people always say, well, you know, Shakari Richardson made some tweets. And, you know, she made those tweets in her past. Okay, she made them in her past, and she's probably not even the same person. See, this is what I'm doing. I'm giving that back to y'all. Because whenever I come up and say, hey, Cody Garbrandt, you know, made some racist tweets. Oh, well, you know, that was a long time ago. You know, he, he definitely not the same person anymore. Okay, well, you know, that was a good little minute ago. Shakari Richardson, you know, she ain't the same person no more. Okay, how about that? Let, let's go ahead and use that narrative. People are ridiculing this girl, man. Ridiculing and ridiculing. And it's like, okay, what do you do? What do you do? You know, I understand, yet yeah, as a way you're supposed to act. I understand, you know, she shouldn't have used marijuana. She shouldn't have. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of understanding. Yeah, I understand. But she did. She was trying to cope with a death in the family. I mean... You know, how you cope with stuff is how you cope with stuff. Yeah, you know, it was wrong. She shouldn't have used marijuana. She shouldn't have, but, but, but she did. Does that make her, like, a bad person? No. Well, you know, man, she shouldn't have did this. She shouldn't have. Well, we all do a lot of stuff that we shouldn't do. We all do a lot of stuff that we shouldn't do. We do a lot of stuff that we should, we should never contemplate and do it, but we do it. But we do it anyway. I mean, you got people right now who ridiculing Shakari Richardson you got, you know, these people ain't even paid their child support. These people, you got people don't even take care of their damn kids. But they want to ridicule Shakari Richardson. They don't take care of their kids. They don't pay child support. Some of these people, you know, they don't even have a nine to five. Like, it's, it's crazy. Some of these people are immobile. They can't even get off the couch. Some of these people have never done any. Some of these people ain't never traveled to a whole nother country. This girl done been around the world. But they want to criticize and they want to ridicule. And so she clapped back at her and she did it on national TV. You know, oh man, she shouldn't have said the S-bomb on, on, on NBC. You know why? I don't think what she said was that bad. OK, I don't think what she said was all that bad. I mean, I've heard people say far worse on TV. I've heard people say say far worse, much, much worse. I hear tennis players say worse on national TV, cussing and throwing rackets. Ah, but you know, ain't nobody got nothing to say about that. And, and you know, you know what the problem is? There's primarily black people ridiculing Shakari Richardson. You even had former sprinter Carmelita Jeter. She was throwing shade at Richardson, talking about how she did things and what she did. Yeah, I understand. I understand that you did things a certain way. But sometimes, you know, when you grow up in a different environment, and your support system is different. Okay, I mean, you know, Shakara Richardson, she grew up in the hood. Okay, and I'm not saying that everybody who grew up in the hood, you know, they act like Shakara Richardson. I'm not saying that. But when you're exposed to different things, see, y'all don't understand, Shakara Richardson was exposed to a whole lot of stuff growing up. A lot of stuff that somebody her age shouldn't have been exposed to, but she got exposed to it. She was exposed to a whole lot of stuff growing up. And the thing of it is, man, her responses to different things are different. You know, why do people always try to pe fit people in like a cookie cutter box? Why do people always try to do that? Like, if you don't act this way, then it's the wrong way. I think she responded the way she needed to respond to. She's getting sick and tired of, you know, reading all these DMs. And it's just people, they ain't doing nothing but just, just you know, saying like, like just negative stuff. Who wants to see and hear that every day? Well, she should ignore social media. Well, I mean, she got people that she talked to on social media. Why does she have to do that? No, why can't people just, you know, stop harassing this girl? This girl been harassed. She been harassed. You know, even people talking about, oh, man, uh, she afraid that, you know, uh, she wear all those weaves and extensions because her real hair, it ain't even that long. So, so she does a video with her real hair out and, you know, she got a lot of hair. She just likes the extensions. Like, people are talking about this girl. Oh, man, you know, her extension. So what? 
So what if she want to wear weaves? So what if she want to wear extensions? So what? It's her damn money. She paying for it. See, people in this society, and I'm going to talk about us, you know, we worry about what people got on. We worry about who we sleeping with. And isn't it funny, man, when somebody black dates somebody outside our race? Black people just got something to say about that. Or, you know, it, it's, it's, a bother, it's bothering them. Like we worry about everything else except for ourselves. Okay. So what? She said the S-bomb on national TV. She's frustrated. Girl been upset. Lost millions of dollars. Lost somebody she loved dearly in her family. I mean, she's immature. She's very immature. And honestly, being that immature and how she grew up, she's responding. How somebody from her background and her past and her situations respond. I know. I deal with kids like Shakara Richardson all the time. That's why I feel a little bit more passionate about this. I deal with kids like her all the time. And yeah, I know she's a grown woman, and I'm saying kid, but mentality-wise, mentality-wise, she's got the mind of a 16, 17-year-old because she's been forced to survive. She's been forced to survive. She's been in survival mode for a long time, and running was her outlet. You can kind of tell this girl hadn't really been training that hard over much. She ain't been doing a whole lot of anything. She's been depressed. She's been depressed. She's been overly and outwardly depressed. You can see, even when she was starting to race, you can look at how depressed this girl looked. I mean, you know, is everything she do correct? No. Everything she do isn't right. Everything she do isn't the right thing to do. But when somebody depressed, they don't think rationally. Okay, when somebody loses people that you love, and don't say, oh, well, you know, she lost her person a couple months ago. Well, who are you to tell somebody how long it is that, 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 that they should grieve? Who are you to tell somebody how long they need to grieve? That's the problem with people. Always trying to tell somebody what they need to do. Always trying to explain, well, I think they ought to do that. Well, she probably don't care what you think. That's why she did it the way she did it. Amazing, man. Amazing. Amazing. And y'all want to uplift somebody? We need to do this. We need to stick together. Well, that's a lot of people ain't sticking together. A lot of people using this as an excuse or, you know, as a reason to just go about just ridiculing the hell out of this young girl. That's what y'all people doing. Well, you know, hey, she clapped back at y'all. She said she don't give a S about y'all haters. And I think she was right to say it. I think she was more than, you know, above what she needed to do. I think she was above. I think she needed to say it. I think she should have said it. She should have said it because people just leave the girl alone. Oh, she need to be humble. She need to be humble. Why? Why, why is it that athletes like Shakara Richardson, when they lose, they always need to be humble? Y'all notice that? And it's amazing when runners like uh, 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 Daphne Shippers, you know, when they lose, they don't need to be humble, even though, you know, those speculations and all, and all that big hype was surrounding her about how she was using all them damn steroids. And now, you know, uh, Daphne Shippers getting her butt whooped now. Ain't nobody telling her she got the humble. See, man, th th this is what I'm talking about. I get so sick of double standards. I get so sick of double standards. I I'm sick of them to the point, man, to where I just don't even call them double standards anymore. I stopped doing it a long time ago. It's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Leave this girl alone. Let this girl figure out how she's going to get her life together. Man, hopefully, you know, I pray that there are people around her in her circle. I pray that there are people around her, people in her circle that she, you know, that she can go to. People that, that, that somebody that can help her through the tough situation because the girl is mentally depressed. She depressed. Her mental health not right. And I don't care who you are, you're not going to run fast when your mental health is all jacked up. You're not going to run fast. You're, you're not going to move. Your body isn't going to do what your brain wants it to do because your brain is not healthy. And in her case, that's what's going on. You know, do I think Shakara Richardson need to sit in a chair and talk to somebody? I think she do. I think she need to sit in a chair and go talk to somebody. I, I don't think she need to go another day without seeing somebody who can help her through the situation that she's going through. Because she need help. She don't need people ridiculing. This girl need help, man. You can tell. You can tell this girl need a lot of help, man. She need a lot of help. And you know, and salute to that brother, man. Salute to the brother 
where, you know, she was coming, you know, uh, he was trying to take her because he knew that, uh, that they were going to try to interview her. And he knew that she wasn't right. And he was trying to, you know, make her go back into the, uh, into the locker room. He was trying to pull her in there. And, you know, she turned around and, you know, Lewis, uh, Lewis Johnson, I think that was his name, called her over there. But he was trying to hurry up and get her to the back. She looked at that brother, man. He knew what was going on. He knew. You know, and that's probably a good friend, man, somebody who really got her best interest in, in mind. But, uh, you know, it's going to get better. Things going to look up, Shakari Richardson. It's going to look up. Salute. Salute to Shakari Richardson. And keep on, you know, keep on keeping on. And keep on, you know, trying to do what you can do to be the best.